New Year's Eve fireworks are on sale, but you should keep in mind they're illegal in city limits. Austin Fire says complaints should not be made to three one should be made to three one one and not nine one one for those shooting off fireworks in rural areas. A reminder that much of Central Texas is now at normally dry. As KXAN's Wes Rappaport explains, winter wildfires are some of the biggest in Texas history. Kindling. The thing about kindling. The small material that carries your sparks to grow into bigger wildfires. Texas is full of it. You don't just have one fire season anymore. You know, it's a year round fire season, just depending on how dry it is and how windy it is. A winter wildfire warning from the Forest Service. More than 90% of the largest wildfires in Texas history have happened between January and March. One spark on one dry day can potentially be an extremely large wildfire. It all starts with the wet spring. We had uh, large amounts of rain all across the state that led to quite a bit of growth in your grasses and your shrubs. Fast forward to low rain totals this fall. Looks like we're going to have persistent drought across parts of the state. Add in high temperatures and low humidity. Behind us, you didn't used to be able to see more than about 10, 15 feet into the forest. Fire crews came into this central Texas nature preserve and created a shaded fuel break to protect nearby homes. We changed how the fire burns across the landscape, making it burn slower so your firefighters can get to it and hopefully put it out quicker. This year, more than 9,200 fires burned across Texas, charring more than 700,000 acres and destroying more than 45 homes. So what can you do? Pay close attention to the weather. Safe debris burning, safe welding practices, stuff like that, and that's all across the state.